Hey everybody, Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. I'm just try and adjust this. I'm adjusting the camera. Happy Thursday. It is actually like technically for me like late Wednesday night. It's like I don't know 1 30 in the morning. It just seems to be uh, sleepless nights and this is the time that I get to video late at night. So Welcome back everyone and to everyone new, hello and welcome. You are looking at Enkeki. She is the Maya sculpt by Priscilla Lopez. She is a preemie baby. Her artist is Kimberly at Kimberly's Cocoon. And many of you that have been with me know how much this baby means to me and the very special place that I have in my heart <laughs> for tiny wee ones, for tiny babies. I'm gonna hold her up close here. There she is. Oh, she, this baby is everything, um, just the peace and joy, and just, she's about the size that my son Gabriel was when he was born so like it really brought that back for me um this is I would have to say this is my absolute favorite sculpt um uh absolutely for sure and um what I decided to do was because the Maya kit has been released um I definitely know that um I would l definitely want another Maya in my collection um hopefully a little boy uh to you know be a brother for her but even a little girl would be fit just the sculpt itself I just it's she is a limited edition sculpt I got um and cakey I got my Maya um early because um, Kimberly was part of the Mystery Kit Club. Um, so she, their only artists that were part of this Mystery Kit Club um, had access to buying this kit at the, at, the, at the first release, which really was not released to the public. Um, so I think I might have been... One of the one of the first few um, collectors to re, to you know receive their Maya and um, there's not too many of them out there yet um, that have been reborn. Um, I see some, but you know you're there. We're kind of maybe just starting to see them now, and I really have a feeling that once um, collectors start getting this baby and experience this experiencing this baby I think that this kit is going to uh be one of those you know even if it takes time but it's going to be one of those kits that years from now people it'll be long sold out and one of the you know rare hard to get sought after kits because I just can't say enough about this kit so um I panicked I didn't want to you know for whatever happens I'm not in the position to uh you know adopt another baby right now I wanted to know that I had this kit I wanted to know that I had my other Maya um and trust me if I find a little boy or another um you know, if I find her brother, I will still keep this kit. I just, I feel like, um, a, a, the sculpt just calls to me. Um, also a consideration is, is I, I want to, to, uh, start painting eventually. I was planning to start painting, um, first in the fall and then it just, I, you know, y'all that have been with me know that I've been wanting to start painting. And unfortunately, like when I was working on Stellan's hair and sitting for a few hours at a time, I just, my back is going in downhill. I am facing, um, uh, more invasive surgery, a double fusion, and, you know, that has to get taken care of. I am in no position to start, um, attempting to paint because this would be a kit, 
a very special kit that I would love to paint one myself. All right, so with that said, I'm going to open the kit. This is the first blank kit opening on Pixie Mommy's Reborns because I've always, you know, bought, you know, or adopted, uh, you know, finished babies. Um, I've never done a true custom and I've never you know, bought a kit and waited and sent it to, you know, found an artist. I've never done anything like this. So here we go. Um, this was from, uh, I ordered her from McPherson's Arts and Crafts. You can go on uh, McPherson's. Uh, they do have, or they did a few days ago, Maya's available. I'm sure they'll probably have them there. Like I said, there is, uh, 500. I'm not sure how many got sold when, um, because the, the whole edition is 500. I'm not sure how many got sold in the Mystery Kit Club, how many artists, you know, uh, ordered several of, yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. No idea. Uh, but... This was, this was just, I mean, I wasn't even a, in a position to, to buy a kit at this point, <laughs> but um, I, I couldn't take that chance. I knew I would be absolutely kicking myself if I did not um, at least have this kit in my possession just in case I don't come across um, a Maya when I'm ready. So I've never looked inside and opened a kit from McPherson's before. So this is like cool. So this is, uh, okay, so that is, oh, I guess this is a, a flyer for the um, Ayak doll show um, showcase with an all booth floor, um, and it's advertising booth spaces. Okay, so that's what that is. Can you all see that? That's what came in there. Wow, beautiful. Is that a, that's got to be a real child. I don't think that's a kit. I, I don't know, maybe it is. <laughs> wow. All right, and then we have, uh, stop, please, read. The vinyl will absorb any color or ink like a sponge. We have made certain that certificates are protected in a plastic bag. Do not put any ink near the vinyl parts when storing. You must inspect all your parts within one week of receipt. Uh, we are not responsible if not stored correctly. So that's their, <clears throat> their warning, I suppose. And then this is my invoice, so of course I will, I don't need to share that. <laughs> um, this looks like the COA, which I do have one of these because I have a Maya. And, um, and KK is number 18, which I have a thing with eight, eight is my lucky number and everything. So let's see what kit. Okay, we have Maya number 153 out of 500. So that's what this new kit is. So I have number 18 here, Reborn, and I have number 153. All right. Oh my God. Can you believe, look at what a tiny box <laughs> for a kit to come in? Because I've seen kit openings on like artist channels and stuff like that. So... All right, everything comes in a bag. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so like, wow. So I think, let me grab, uh, ladies, uh, let me see what I can do here. Um, just trying to grab a little receiving blanket. We'll just grab, um, I think this is, uh, did I move that camera? This was, um. Oscars. This came with Oscar, this little Peter Rabbit. This way I can, you know, put the kit in the in the blanket next to her. Um, so it, it she does come with a body. Um, so we will start with the head. And here she is. 
<laughs> so this is the blank head of the Maya sculpt by Priscilla Lopez. And wow, you know, it's so cool to feel the vinyl. I've never felt a blank kit. This does feel like really nice vinyl. I mean, I'm not an artist, so I don't know. Oh, let's see. Is there a little? Nope, that comes right off. Um, oh, wow. Look at how precious. I mean, the details on this, the just the kit alone, unpainted, is absolutely amazing. Look at those little tiny ears. And this face is just, oh, my gosh. So, um, it does definitely feel like very nice soft vinyl and, um, I think will be nice to paint if I ever do get to paint. Um, and again, this is the first kit I'm feeling, but just, you know, just common sense wise feeling what it feels like. It feels good. Um, so here's her, here's her body. Um, it comes with the zip ties in it and it's a, you know, preemie body. So that would be, that would guesstimate her little size there. Oh my goodness. So here we have, okay, hang on a second. I got to figure out this is the left. This is the left arm. So that's her left arm. Oh my goodness. It looks so different than in Kiki's. Like it looks so like naked and long. <laughs> and here's her little open hand. Her hands are so expressive. I absolutely love that about this kit. And I think actually, wouldn't it make sense to take Enkiki down to her Kimberly's Cocoon onesie so you can see the um, blank kit and the finished baby and you, so you can see her limbs and everything. Um, oh my goodness, this is fun. <laughs> it just feels so neat that I, I don't know, like I said, I've never, I've never ordered a kit and I, well, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with the kit and who's going to reborn it or if I'm going to find, you know, fall in love with a, a Maya, you know, that an, I see that an artist has made, you know what I'm saying or what I'm, you know, and maybe hold this one for years until I paint it. Who knows? But it's just fun. Okay, so this is the uh, left arm. And it feels a little like shiny, uh, slick there. Um, just, but yeah, again, nice, soft um, vinyl. And there's that little hand with that thumb tucked under and the um, uh, pointer finger kind of tucked and then the other fingers out just so you know, tiny, uh, newborn or, well, preemie, but it's amazing to see the, uh, the difference on the, <laughs> and of course, and Kiki is a AA, so she's quite dark, uh, next to this baby. So now we have the left leg, and these are nice curly legs, as you can see. They, they're not, not quite as curled as the Levi, but they're froggy legs, and they're curled, and she is so amazing for positioning, um, uh, for photographs and things like that. She's, she's just so, um, there's like endless photo possibilities with this baby. So let's see. Um, yeah, I should have, all right. I should have put more kind of underneath her. Oh, sorry, ladies. This is the first time I've, you know, so I keep repeating myself. This is the first time I'm doing this. So let's see. All right, and last but not least, we have the uh, right leg. The right leg. <laughs> there we go. So, it's, uh, this is um, a great kit to be the first blank kit to join um, my nursery, to join Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Um, I may actually set this baby up. I may, may stuff her and, um, yeah, 
I, I may look at the difference in color. Uh, you know, you cannot clearly see um, Kimberly got and Kiki nice and dark. That's for sure. Um, and I don't know if um, this baby, if I'll want her AA or if she'll be AA or like I said, if I'll fall in love with another. Um, it doesn't matter to me. Um, you know, I... I do have a, um, I do have a preference to hope to get a boy, so I have a twin, you know, a boy and a girl would be the ultimate for me, but I, uh, if I fall in love, it's all about the baby and what I fall in love with. <laughs> it really is. It has to, the baby has to speak to me, and of course, and Kiki spoke to me, and once I got this baby home and in my arms, and let me tell you, uh, for as tiny as she is, and she, it says she is a 16 inch kit, um, but it, uh, that's with bent legs. So technically this, like if she were real and she could stretch out her legs, she would be, um, like, you know, 17, 17 and a half, in, you know, close to 18 inches, which, which Gabriel was 18 inches and five pounds. And he dropped down to like four, you know, something in the hospital, you know, they lose a little bit and, um, that first day or two in the hospital. So yeah, you know, really the size was pretty close, um, he was not, he squeaked by, by, um, by like a half a day where he was not technically considered premature and like he did not have to go to the NICU. He squeaked by in the regular nursery. I can tell you he was very tiny. He was not cooked and he was much closer to this size, which I believe this baby was sculpted after a 27 week old gestation uh preemie I think so um you know Gabriel was a little bit further along but just didn't look it you know he was just not you know he's just small he was he was small um so uh so you know she's tiny she's a small preemie but yet she's not that small she's a whole baby she is um she fits into um, uh, preemie clothes that are true to size uh, for preemie. So, you know, or preemie clothes that run smaller. Um, the Carters, they're very, very new line um, that fits her. Um, even kind of the Carters regular preemie, um, she could get away with. It's a little big or I can shrink it. The old Carters preemie um, fits her. And then what I took off her, and I think like brands like this, like Loved Baby, which this, and well, this is four to seven pounds. This is preemie slash newborn, but this fits her perfectly, uh, as you saw it on her. So, um, you know, yeah, it depends on the brand, but it's not like you, um, like it's a fun challenge to find clothes for her, but it's not like impossible or like you have to have everything custom made. Um, she's not that kind of, you know, she, to me, she is definitely not a micro preemie. A micro preemie is a baby that you could like slip a wedding ring over their hand and wrist. And this is not, she's not that, that small. Um, but she's small. She's a little wee one. So look at that, ladies. What do you think? So what do you think? I have a blanket. I can't. It's so neat. I have a kid join my nursery. This is my Maya. So let's take a head. Oh, does that look weird? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> let's look at the head again. So tell me, um... What do you all think of this sculpt? Um, does anyone plan on um, on having this sculpt? Um, how many of you have seen this sculpt? I love her cranial structure. Um, she's got some nice defined, um, I don't know how well you can see here, but she's definitely got, you know, you can feel her nice uh, cranial structure. Um, oh, she's just... Oh, she's so precious. So let me see if we can take the 
warm. Take and take him. Oh, my baby girl. And she just curls up. You would think a baby this tiny might not be so cuddly. And she is like my most cuddly. Um, I do have some videos with her in my arms. And she just lays right up, you know, onto like my chest and just um, nestles right in there. Um, and it's just amazing. So I'm going to put the two heads together to show you. Isn't that neat? I just think that's so neat. <laughs> it, it's amazing what painting and what the art can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh. What a difference. And Oh my gosh. But looking at a blank kit in person, because like I said, I've only seen them, in, you know, in pictures or video. Um, it sure looks you know the kit looks so much more like a real baby than you know what you will buy in the store um that's for sure you know than than this like a store-bought baby doll so you know I guess because you know obviously they're sculpted by artists they have you know so much more detail so I think it'll be fun to um you know, just fill her body and just have her kit like this for now. I mean, not that, I mean, she looks like a kit. It doesn't, you know, but, ugh. you know, I wish I, I wish I was close to starting painting and, you know, if it didn't take so much to order in supplies, because I really, you know, a baby like this, I would be painting with Genesis, you know, heat set. Um, you know, to, to just have the supply, the supplies in the oven and the brushes and everything. Um, I, I might not be adverse to maybe starting a few. Now, I don't think, um, that this kit need, that this vinyl needs to be neutralized. I think that's a okay color. A vinyl to start with it's not too I, I think um but anyway I'm gonna get her um her parts uh washed um so that I can uh store her properly uh for the meantime and then see if I decide that I want to set her up or what I want to do so anyway yep yeah. Let me all know what you think of this sculpt, if you have plans for this sculpt. Um, you know, my thing is also that I just, I can't do like a traditional kind of custom. I could put a kit in an artist's hands and, and say, at certain artist's hands and say, um, please create your vision. Um, but I much prefer to see the finished baby. Um, I, and, you know, there's a few artists maybe that I uh, would put the kit in their hands, but then they, they just don't take customs. Um, uh, and, you know, there's a few artists that, you know, are probably out of my, you know, ballpark, <laughs> um, as well. So we set, we shall see, you never know what comes up. Plus, you never know as this, this baby starts getting circulated, um, what might wind up turning up on the secondhand market that might be from an artist that, um, you know, that I admire that, uh, that's like out of my, you know, league, uh, cause at this point, the way, the, the rate that I'm going, uh, with my collecting and kind of how picky I've gotten and stuff, I still do have, you know, some of my favorite artists that I love, but I'm definitely looking at other artists work and I tend to notice that, um, the, the, the babies that are really, really, you know, have been speaking to me, um, that I've been falling in love with, with the like hyper realism and the, and the just, you know, perfect mono root, you know, all like the stuff are like artists that they don't even like sell with a price. Their babies go up on eBay and they could get very, very high. So anyways, 
that uh that happens and I've noticed lately like oh those are the babies I'm falling in love with but I certainly love my and Keiki more than anything as you all know um and I feel so blessed to have and Keiki um I I I'm absolutely so blessed so even just to have her I'm so blessed but let's look at this is my little boy preemie oh my gosh could you just picture how adorable these tiny little babies just curled up together uh, you know and just the way that they could be posed as oh oh my heart oh i can't <laughs> i need my boy <laughs> to be so um you know we, everything happens for a reason so we'll see you know um who winds up reborning this this kit but obviously I got the kit too in time um you know when I'm able to have him reborn and if I can find an artist that's what I'll do anyway I am yammering on because of course it's late look at the the beautiful uh, beauty mark she has on her leg she has uh, several around on her all Kimberly's babies do and just uh, look at the bottom of her feet and uh, just it blended so nicely in Kimberly did a really amazing amazing job um, you know on her and she's you know, she's quite dark. She's, you know, I could certainly picture a little, uh, you know, African boy with, um, maybe a, a darker, like a black hair, um, uh, curly, like osseers, but like in a more, much more sparsely rooted way. I can definitely picture that, um, you know, having this baby dark. Um, but I could also picture um, a Caucasian baby, uh, very hyper-realistically painted with just the sparse, you know, rooting. And, but anyway, I can picture, you know, a few different ways. Um, so I'm curious. It's so funny because, like, I want a boy and have boy in mind. Th this blanket looks like a boy to me. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm a little tired here, ladies. Anyway, I wanted to show you some baby fun. I'm literally picking up the tripod right now to just get you a little look. And uh, is if that's not a beautiful blessing, if that doesn't like ping your heart in some way or warm your heart in some way to see those tiny little preemies like that, um then I don't know what, but oh my goodness. <laughs> so anyway, this was a really fun um, experience for me. Um, something very new to my journey here um, in uh, my uh, doll collecting. It, it's a first for me, first at Pixie Mommy's Reborn. So I thank you all for joining me for this. I hope you had fun. I certainly had fun. Definitely comment below. Let me know if you had fun. Let me know what you think of the Maya sculpt. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now. And make sure that you check and make sure that notification bell is hit so that you get invites to my lives and that you never miss a video. And until next time, God bless.